Admittance and Conductance in Cardiac Performance, Wikipedia Article Audio There is an established practice of using the electrical conductance of blood in heart ventricles to determine the instantaneous volume of the ventricle. This technique involves inserting a tetrapolar catheter into the ventricle and measuring conductance. This measured conductance is a combination of blood and muscle and various techniques are used to identify the blood conductance from the total measured conductance. Blood conductance can then be converted to volume using a linear or a nonlinear relationship that relates conductance to volume. This approach is based on the idea that the total conductance, G, of a fluid between two electrodes is a function of the fluid's conductivity and volume. Traditional Conductance Technology Improved Admittance Technology In cardiology, a tetrapolar catheter is inserted into the ventricle and a constant current is applied across the two outer electrodes. This generates an electrical field within the ventricle and the two inner electrodes measure a voltage generated due to the electric field. This measured voltage is used to determine conductance through a modified version of Ohm's law. Conductance is the reciprocal of resistance which changes the standard Ohm's equation from V equals IR to V equals I slash G. Conductance is then related to blood volume though Bayon's equation. When used in cardiology, the electric field generated is not limited to the blood but also penetrates the heart wall, giving rise to additional conductance often called parallel conductance or muscle conductance, GM which must be removed. Various techniques have been attempted to remove the GM contribution with varying degrees of success. The most common method is the hypertonic saline technique which involves injecting a bolus of hypertonic saline into the ventricle to alter blood conductivity without affecting the surrounding muscle. Another less commonly used technique involves evacuating the ventricle of blood and measuring muscle conductance alone with a conductance catheter. Clearly both techniques are unreliable, somewhat invasive, and fail to account for the continuous variation in GM over the cardiac cycle. The admittance technique is an improvement over the conductance technique for the real-time removal of muscle conductance GM. Blood and muscle respond to alternating electrical currents very differently. Blood is purely resistive while muscle has both resistive and capacitive properties. The fixed charges in muscle cells create a significant reactance that causes a phase shift in the measured signal, relative to the excitation signal. Admittance technology uses this phase shift to determine the instantaneous muscle conductance and remove it from the total measured conductance. The total admittance of the blood-filled ventricle is given by Y equals GB plus GM plus IGM where Removal of GM The signals GM and CM are both properties of cardiac muscle and vary in a fixed ratio. Thus the ratio of GM to CM is equal to the ratio of muscle conductivity to muscle permittivity. The ratio sigma slash epsilon is the constant of proportionality. Although both sigma and epsilon are functions of the health of the heart tissue, they are relatively constant for short periods of time. Using this proportionality, one can rewrite the equation for GM as GM equals CM. Experimental Results Note that the imaginary component of Y depends only on the amount of muscle in the field of the catheter. This makes it easy to isolate by measuring the phase shift, phi, of the measured signal, cos equals slash Y, sin equals omega cm slash Y, hence, cm equals Y dot sin slash omega, also, gm equals cm. Thus, Blood conductance is determined as GB equals Y dot cos, GM. 
Wei's equations can be applied to this calculated blood conductance GB to obtain blood volume. Unlike Baon's equation, Wei's equation takes into account the nonlinear nature of the electrical field and the dynamic nature of the cardiac cycle to give a more accurate representation of the blood volume. Admittance technique involves the measurement of both phase angle and total conductance in the ventricle. Thus, it is possible to observe how the parallel conductance varies throughout the cardiac cycle. A plot showing both the blood and muscle contribution are shown in the figure. GB is the measured conductance of the blood, GM is the measured conductance of the cardiac muscle, CM is the measured capacitance of the cardiac muscle, omega is the angular frequency of the excitation signal.